Hey, y'all, come along for this adventure as we show y'all how we skin up and clean our catfish. First, we start with uh, finding this little knob behind the fin here. We make a, a cut up the side through the skin on both sides. Then down past the, I guess the dorsal fin on this catfish. So far, uh, got to make us a hole in his mouth here. What we'll do next is we'll take him over here to the board Stick him up on our loop. Stick him on good. Let him hang. We take old kind of pliers here, little skinning pliers. Grab at the corner of where you started your cut there. And you just pull that down on one side. Step around the side here. And we go to the other side and do the same thing down so far. You bust your knuckle, and all that good stuff. And pull that skin right off of that fish all the way down to the tail. Just the other go ahead. Side. At this point, I take mine loose. Grab the belly skin at the corner, pull it up here as far as I can. Because there's no sense in getting it off of the head because the head's not going to be used. So. Okay. Reach and get my little trusty fillet knife. Start at the uh, anal, vent. anal vent here. Cut up between the fins all the way up to the skin. To expose the gut cavity. I cut across the belly meat here and then I stop. <clears throat> I break this fish over like so. Twist the head off. Kind of pull it a little bit. Drop the spoils in the bucket. Get my trusty little pliers out again side and take out all of the all of the entrails clean that out really good and we'll <clears throat> we'll take these inside and wash them off and clean them before we fillet them up uh, and usually I take and <clears throat> grab the fins break those off Clean that up best we can. Also with the pectoral fins, you just pull them right off. Leave a little bit there. Do the same on the opposite side. Drop that out. And then I take and pull this bottom fin here. Pull all of that out so that we don't have those bones in our fillets later. And then I just kind of clamp the tail off. I'm not gonna eat that either. And then there you have one whole cleaned catfish. We're waiting on the last one. He's still, he's still learning. But this is how you get them to learn: is you actually put them on the on the fish and do hands on, y'all. He's done grud though. There's what we got filleted up. We're fixing to take them inside, wash them up, flay them, and then put them in the vacuum seal bags to go in the freezer, y'all. Y'all, we just wash these things up, clean them up a little bit, get all the blood and nasty mess off of them. Get them over on the cutting board and 
fillet them up. So we start here with the, the belly meat. Just kind of start slicing around the ribs. Pull off a pretty good chunk there. Flip this over here. Go the opposite way. Do the same thing. Follow the rib bones right around. Take this fish and plop it up on the side. Try to cut between the backbone there and separate it. I'll take the tail section. Just fillet that meat right off that backbone all the way off. Beautiful fillet of fish right there. Flip it over on the bone side. Do the same thing to the other side. Another beautiful fillet of fish right there. We're done with that bone. I take this piece here and start on either side of the backbone. Cut down to the center. Pull my knife along the backbone. Push it all the way down to the rib meat. Turn it over on its side and just fillet that meat right off the, the rib bone. Another big fillet and turn it around and do the same thing on the opposite side. Start it down to the middle, open it up, go down to the ribs, flip it over, and just fillet that meat right off of those rib bones. And that's all the waste we have. And you've got six fillets you could pan fry, you could grill them, cut them into smaller pieces and fry them, fry them up. You use these, uh, these bones if you so wish to make some type of fish soup or uh, use it in compost. And that is how we catch them, clean them, and fillet. Hi y'all. Uh... This is the fish. We haven't put it in the freezer, I mean, in the uh, vacuum seal bags yet. We're gonna do that in a little bit. But I was gonna show you them 12 fish netted a little over 10 pounds there, all right? So, Dustin's got his fingers up. I don't know why, but he does.